Camille's Country Corner. I'm Camille and on today's menu we will be making some jambalaya. If you like this video please hit like and subscribe. I'm going to be mentioning that throughout the video and all of our recipes will be posted below and let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what you're going to need for this recipe. All right for this recipe it looks like we've got a, quite a few ingredients. So for your um, proteins you will need about a pound of chicken whether it's light or dark meat that's up to you some uh, sausage you can either use kielbasa here like I am or you can use some andouille sausage about a pound of shrimp I have a half a pound today so that's what I'll be using some chicken stock some diced tomatoes uh, bell pepper uh, yellow squash some onion, uh, about a medium onion, a couple cloves of garlic, a couple of bay leaves. You'll need some flour to thicken it. For our spices, we're going to use some chili powder, poultry seasoning, some ground cumin, Worcestershire, a little bit of hot sauce, and then we are going to garnish it with our chives and our thyme. Some of this stuff is from my garden, I'm happy to say. We are going to start by chopping our vegetables that I haven't chopped up yet. I did get this yellow squash from my garden. I hope it's delicious. All I'm doing is putting everything in similar sizes. Need two ribs of celery. This recipe is going to feed four to six people. Maybe eight the way I make it. All right, for the sausage, I am using a pork and beef sausage, nothing special, and I'm just cutting them into rounds. All right, let's get everything going on the stove. All right, to my pan, I have added one tablespoon of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my onions and my garlic. We're gonna go ahead and get that sauteing. Should only take about a minute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my peppers, my yellow squash, and my celery. On my back burner, I have already cooked up a couple of cups of white jasmine rice. I like to have it already made. I don't add it to the jambalaya until the end, and I put it in the bowl. And then I put my jambalaya over top. All right, my vegetables have been cooking for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add my three tablespoons of flour. What, what we're doing right now is we're making a roux. This, will, this is what will thicken up our jambalaya. And I'm just cooking out the raw flour taste right now. Now, if my chicken wasn't already cooked because this was from a rotisserie chicken, this is when I would be cooking my chicken at this time. But since my chicken is already cooked, I'm gonna add it after. 
I get my broth going. So you want about a 14 ounce can of chicken broth or stock. You can either buy it, make it yourself, or just use the bouillon. Go ahead and add mine and get it back up to temperature. Because I never think ahead and mine's frozen solid. All right, now that my stock has come back up to temperature, on this other burner, I'm gonna go ahead and brown up my sausage just because I like to sear it. All right, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add my 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm using the chili ready because that's what I have today. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cooked chicken. All right, we need about a table or a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Need a teaspoon of the cumin. Need a teaspoon of the poultry seasoning. Well, maybe. There we go. A little bit of a heaping teaspoon. That's okay. I'm going to stir my sausages around so they don't burn. All right, and you need about a quarter of a cup of this chili powder. I'm just going to eyeball this here. And a few dashes of the hot sauce, or you can add some cayenne here. I'm just adding some hot sauce. Our house uses Cholula. I'm going to add one bay leaf. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Stir all of this together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down. Right now I have it on high. I'm going to turn it down to a medium high. Actually, I'm going to turn it down to about medium because I've got it up to a boil now. And I'm going to let this simmer at medium for 30 minutes. And I'm going to stir it here now and again. Once I have a nice color on all of my sausages, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pot and let that simmer as well. And then I will bring you back when we are cooking the shrimp. All right, this has been simmering for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp here. Literally, this will only take about five minutes to cook. Once your shrimp turns pink, it's done. This is ready to serve. All right, let me set this all out so you can see what it looks like. All right, friends, this is what it looks like when it's done. I made some cheddar biscuits. And I made those from scratch. I will leave a link below. It is just made with Bisquick. There's the jambalaya and just some white jasmine rice. 
All right, let me go ahead and plate some up for you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up for you and we're gonna give it a try. All right, so I just take an ice cream scoop and I put it in the middle of my bowl. And I like to do this in a shallow bowl because it gives a really nice presentation. And then we just take a ladle full. And then I have some fresh thyme. If you don't have the fresh thyme, it's okay. You don't have to use it. And I'm just gonna garnish that over to the top and some more of the fresh scallions. And then I'm gonna grab myself a biscuit. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of homemade from scratch recipes or farm to table because I have a garden outside and I like to um, shop locally and I like to support all of our local farmers around here until I can have my farm. And it will just be a small one, maybe some chickens. <laughs> Definitely a big garden. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. That was just vegetables. It's very hot. <laughs> Temperature, not spicy. I only put uh, probably about 10 dashes of the Cholula in here. If you don't like spice, and I don't, but this is just spicy enough, so it's not overly, like my kids would eat this, but my kids really like spicy. I think I'm the only one that doesn't. But anyway, I'm rambling. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you try this recipe. If you do, please comment below. And if you like, us please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i said that again all right we'll catch you on the next one thanks for coming today